Underestimate him. Was never in doubt. I see him. Nothing. Nothing to it.
This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky this us. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency... I just want to get home. I just wanted to get home. I haven't been down to the surface. Are 
Hey, got a sack coin? We're priced to play. Just leave me alone, all right? You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the you station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. So... Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Have they caught or the perpetrators yet? You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Have they caught the perpetrators yet? Hit, buddy? You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Have they caught the perpetrators Why don't you learn yet? To take a hint, buddy? Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Have they caught the perpetrators yet? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Little help, Cloud? Please? I'm sure I can't stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made no, shouldn't have produced an explosion that, that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. <laughs> You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right.
You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Uh. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting, she'll worry. Not long now. <laughs> Are you sure? How are people here? Did you see that huge explosion on Talk about it. Uh, how about it, baby girl? How about what? Um... Uh -huh. Train services? I feel like it's been for... So the Mako reactor's... I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Huh? I've never felt the ground shape like that. Apparently Shinra likes it. So I'm clear he's only had a time. Uh -huh. hmm? hmm? Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. 
Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? Uh, how sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh, <laughs> hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but... I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging me into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> not good at all. I don't know what it so, is, you make nice with so everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. 
You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, the it wasn't that bad? On it was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> It's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure.
Well now, you must be Cloud. <sighs> I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Nothing to report. Containing survey. The watch is saying different. Searching for candidates. That's a wedge bench? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? That sword's massive. Searching for candidates. Trains gonna start moving again. I have enough food and other goods to go around. Even our facilities are starting to look a little run down. Just, uh, you think? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. Do something about the monster. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Don't tell me. After a thousand, you'll be ready to hit up Jesse. So it looks like we're having a bad day. Try getting more. We gotta do something about the monsters on scrap. Even our facilities are starting to look a little run down. Mm -hmm. Not alone, you won't. Don't try anything funny or you'll get it. Next item on the Friends of Fresh. I swear all the people. Lots of girls are sitting. Huh? What can goods when I get sick? Think we could get some money if we should have more people? You never know. <clears throat> yeah, and they're all a bundle. Our daughter does My sister? It's times like this that remind you how. like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks <sighs> love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place, and it's easy money too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. 
And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Everyone's worried. Barrett's out making his rounds, too. As long as I get it off. A friend of mine heard about you and me. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. From your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Nothing tickle your fancy? If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Diva. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well... You could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's is a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plane. My husband decided to go to the station and see if we could... Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. Admit, you been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Probably because of those vets but never mind that. Spot. We've got to get you your money. Maybe. Last stop is the weapon store. Folks who are tops out are losing pay by the day. I'm anger right now. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? <laughs> hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, 
When will Barra be back with the rest? Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you! Get on out of here! Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you! No better you. way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own! Come and check out our collection. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody! Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merkin town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. 
I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. Searching for candidates. Good luck, Tifa, and be careful. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters appear right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. like an action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. in like it was nothing? You too. It's a little surprising. Uh, uh, gotcha. You don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, uh, that one's gonna be on the test. It's a lesson? You gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's, let's do drop this. it. See ya. That's that. Really? I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Safe. 
here someone got rid of me. Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <clears throat> oh. You okay? <sighs> I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... <clears throat> it's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Come along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on the map? No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Hold up. Come and check out Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word needs. spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. <sighs> Man, in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Don't be a stranger! Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh. He should be back at the office by now. Don't try anything funny. Hey, you just opened up. Tally of
Searching for candidates. Ah, oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate! My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Please set the orb of assessed materia to your equipment and use it to gather battle intel. Never want for work around here if you prove yourself useful. Please set the orb of assessed materia to your equipment and use it to you. You're a go-to monster slayer now. <sighs> I can finally sleep at night. Until they get reactor one back up and running, the factory is gonna stay. <laughs> hey, you just opened up Don't try here. anything funny or you'll get it. I've been told the sewage. Hey! Oh, hey there! Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kinda hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, and they're all cats. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. 